Hello everybody, Jerry Turner here from the Countryside Restoration Trust. Today I'm standing by an old oak tree here at Larkrise Farm in Barton in Cambridgeshire. And if you take a peek over my shoulder, you should see something nestled in amongst the branches. Can you work out what it is? Did you guess? Well, this nest box has been home to some barn owls over the years. Now barn owls have decreased by about 70% since the 1930s so it's really good to give them a nesting box where they can raise their chicks. Now barn owls are very distinctive and they have bright white feathers and they have a heart-shaped face. Now they're excellent hunters and they tend to hunt at dusk and dawn because they have very good eyesight. They also have very good hearing because they have asymmetrical ears which means that one ear is higher than the other so they can focus in on sound and swoop down with their very long legs and talons to catch their prey from the grasslands. Some things to look out for if you think you've got a barn owl nesting close are feathers, um, droppings, you may even hear the screech of an owl at dusk and also you might be lucky enough to find these which are owl pellets. Barn owls are raptors so they're meat eating birds and some of their favourite meals include shrews, voles and mice. Now barn owls like most birds, like all birds, don't have any teeth so they have to swallow their prey whole but they can't digest all of the animal they can't digest the bones or the feathers so what they do they regurgitate it which means that they bring up the bones and the feathers in a pellet that looks like that that comes out of their mouth if we have a look inside the pellet it'll give us some clues as to what the barn owl has eaten so the best way to do that is to soak the pellet in warm water so it starts to fall apart and then once it's soft we can pull it apart and see what's inside so let's take a peek I've poured off the liquid and here is the softened owl pellet so I'm going to use a spoon and some tweezers to carefully pull apart the pellet and see what's inside Now, if we look carefully, I've separated them out. So here we've got some skulls, probably something like a wood mouse skull. We've got some lower jaws here, so you can still see the teeth in there. Um, we've got a lovely hip bone here, where the pelvis is. And we've got a selection of thigh and shin bones as well. So these are all the things that the barn owl has munched on. Although barn owls are most likely to be seen hunting in low light at dawn and dusk, they can sometimes be seen in the daytime, especially when they have chicks to feed. Now for those of you that don't know what chicks look like, these are some barn owl chicks. And for me, they're like the equivalent of the ugly duckling story. They don't start off so beautiful, but they certainly transform into a very majestic bird. 